welcome back. This is episode 7 of the adventure in EVE Online. And uh, let's, speaking of business, let's get right down to business. Okay, balancing the books. Basic, basic understanding of crucial processes like mining ore, refining it into materials, and basically even the people who don't do anything but play the market buying and selling still understand where all the stuff comes from. Yeah, okay, fine. Head out to these coordinates where you'll find some Veldspar asteroids, mine the ore, and then once you've returned to the station, refine it to titanium. Okay, well, that's just about special. I get a skill book in refining, 169,000 ISK if I'm back in 3 hours and 20 minutes. And there's a location of the uh, Veldspar asteroids. Okay, we'll accept that. That sounds just dandy to me. And we'll close this. And let's see, inventory. No, no, no. Oh, I don't want the repair quote. I want make active. And let's see. Double check to make sure it's the right one. Somehow I managed to get two of these things. Alright. This ship was built for mining. So let's go mine. Okay. Warp to location. Warp drive active. Now, I've been doing a fair amount of mining recently. And with this ship, I have found that uh, mining Veldspar is reasonably profitable at about 2 million isk per hour roughly speaking a million five to a minute to two million per hour all right switch to mining and there's one asteroid here lock target start the mining beams and this it's a large collidable odd oh hollow asteroid. Alright, yeah. A hollow asteroid actually you can't mine anything out of it because it's already been mined out. And there is one thing of ore left here. Oh boy. Alright, let's have a look at the inventory. And the ore hold. Now this ship has a hold of only fifty cubic meters, which is a lot smaller than the other ships that I've got. But the ore hold, 5,000. Not too shabby. And this ship here, with uh, two Miner 1 mining lasers on it, they each produce 97 cubic meters per minute of ore. And there you go. Oh, there's a Serpentis rookie in town. All right, I'm going to take this thing here and I'm going to orbit that at, say, 5,000 meters. Because I've learned that as a neat, that's a neat little tactic. By orbiting the thing that I'm mining, Basically, I'm flying circles around it. It makes me a lot harder for this Serpentis pirate to hit, which is a good thing because while this ship has shields and armor and mining lasers, it does not currently have any weapons mounted. Which is okay with, for a strictly binding mission. And I actually found that I can 
do this all day. Because earlier today I did this and uh, I sat here orbiting an asteroid that I was mining for about I guess it was about 15 minutes that one of these serpentous pirates was shooting at me and eventually somebody came along and shot the thing down just simply because it's annoying or maybe they maybe that was their mission to do that it wasn't my mission I was just out there mining Veldspar to, to be uh, profitable about it anyway I am going to hang out here and uh, I'm either going to get a full hold of Veldspar or I'm going to uh, mine the asteroid out and I'll be back when one of those happens alright I just got notified the asteroid is depleted it's gone and so let us return to the station. Warp drive active. Ended up taking a few actual hits, but my shields never went below 98%. Now I realize this is not the kind of tactic that you would want to use against a player who actually wanted to kill you. You know, against an NPC who just automatically starts taking shots at anything that comes near it, that's one thing. But, uh, I know that area right there is just going to be NPCs. This is 0.8 security. This is high sec. Docking and, uh, requested. Docking I can't imagine why anybody accepted. would want to, uh, kill a noob in high sec space when they know Concord is going to come after them. Anyway, the next step here, let's see. Science and industry. Wait a minute. Am I hitting the right thing here? Oh, I have to refine this into Tritanium. I don't have to manufacture anything. Alright. Open up the inventory. Open up the ore hold. I have... Oh, plenty. Okay. To hanger and refine. Reprocess. Alright done all right item hanger still some veldspar left and a fair amount of tritanium left all right let's just sell that item I take the default price. I know it's not the best one, but I don't care. Not right now. All right. All right. We're good. Let's grab another one of these. Four out of ten here. New information from the black box, yada yada yada. Take out the outpost and the Serpentis ships defending it once the area is clear. Uncover plans for future attacks. civilian code breaker to use it on any data storage devices all right and I get a skill book for hacking for completing the mission special ship restrictions all right I will accept the mission
Station. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is switch back to the Navitas. Okay. Quick look over the civilian code breaker stuff. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I need to get one of those fitted to the ship. Activate the code breaker module. May take several attempts, yada yada yada. Okay, good. Items gathered through hacking are usually quite valuable and so on. Well, that's good. I'm all about getting valuable. Contracting and negotiation. Cool. Alrighty. Train that now to level one. Train that now to level one. Oh, I can't train contacting on the trial period. Okay. In the meantime, let's head out. Alright, here we go. Let's head out to our location in dead space. Warp drive active. I wonder why they call it dead space. I mean, as opposed to what, live space? Where space just kind of comes alive and sits there and trolls you all day? I don't know. Okay. I guess we get to use the acceleration gate. Warp drive active. Alright, we're arriving. We have a Serpentis rookie. Lock target. Let's orbit him and begin firing. Let's stop firing. We're not close enough. That wasn't sensible. Alright, we will orbit, say, 5,000. That will be plenty. Now let us begin shooting at him. Orbit 2500. Oh, he's gone. Alright. Get over here to the data storage facility. Get a lock on it. Hold position and let's hit it with the code breaker. Oh, we have to be closer. Within 5,000. orbit that thing. It, the code breaker will work on it. Successfully access storage. Okay. Open cargo. Encoded data chip. And a data core. Was that it? I think it was. All right. It is now time to return. And we'll see you at the agent. Warp drive active. Okay, here we are. And complete the mission. 
Okay. And we get a sneak preview of, uh, no, we don't. Okay. Anyway. Let's go ahead and grab the next mission. Alright, 5 of 10. So we need to take this encoded data chip and drop it off at this place. It's courier work, yada yada yada. Offering the overdrive injector for the journey. It increases ship's velocity and so on. Okay, well that's cool. I'll take that. The reward, 1x expanded cargo hold 1. Alright, I like that. And 72,000 disc. Okay, accept the mission. Close that and... take a minute and fit that if possible. Oh, I can't use it because I don't have hull upgrades skill. Okay, not a problem. Not going to worry about it. Oops. Missing cargo warning. No, I'm not going to undock. Alright. Inventory. Encoded data chip. That would have been embarrassing to get all that way without having what I needed to bring there. All right. And let us set destination. This is a six dump trip, which is going to take a little while. So I will go ahead and start along the way, and Walk I'll catch you at the other in. end, which probably won't be very exciting anyway, but... Alright, just arrived at the destination, and I guess I get to see the same guy again, by remote. Complete mission. And I bet I can't request another mission from here. Yeah, I have to return. Okay, so. Undock. And then I will be warping back. Well, I should probably, uh, set a destination to get back. There we go. And we've got another six jumps. And it was about an ex uh, not very interesting five or six minutes to make those jumps, so I'm going to cut and catch up with you back there. All right, we're back. So let's get another business bit out of the way. All right. Okay, we've got uh, more dealing with the Serpentis. They have a shortage of tracking computer one modules. Uh, the people that are fighting them, that is. I need to acquire one. And deliver it, apparently, yes. Okay, so I need to acquire this item. 1x tracking computer 1. Apparently it doesn't matter how I acquire it, so we'll accept missing. And the help thing comes up and starts talking about the market. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. We'll just put that down here. 
here all right and we'll just walk through it I mean I've browsed the market a little bit already but all right set that to station okay item usability groups tab all right I don't know why all right green marker by the item indicates that I can use it that I meet all the requirements for it. red marker means I lack certain skills okay that's fine you don't want to buy something you can't use I get that and then there's price history and yada 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 and all this other stuff never buy anything you cannot afford to lose good advice Fetching boss items are in the item hanger in the station they're sold at. Helpful market stills, trade and retail. All right. I'll take that. And we're done with this. Now, what is this thing we need to get? Tracking computer one. Type that in here, nothing found. Alright, from within the solar system, no. Alright, how about regional? Tracking computer one. And we can find them right here. I'm just going to go ahead and buy one get it done all right tracking computer one all right that's in my inventory let's go back here and complete the mission Excellent work. All right, so I have a book for mass production and another minor one. That's good. All right, and so on. All right, next time up, we'll revisit industry and see what we can do there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.